I'm Cindy from BeDanceWear.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to take a leotard and add a skirt to it so that that way you have the briefs attached, turning it into a dress. The reason you would want to do something like this is a lot of times dresses want to ride up and they want to, um, you'll see space between the brief and uh, the top part of the dress. So this holds everything into place. Um, you just want to pick your style of skirt, pick your style of leotard, and then uh, you want to go ahead and put the leotard on the girl. Now, because the whole thing stretches, if you just say, oh, this is the waistline, this is where I'm going to put the skirt, it might not land in the spot that you want. So once you put it on the girl, the leotard, then you're going to take some soap or chalk and mark it. If you're using chalk, make sure that um, it washes off the lycra. So um, I've also taken, you can either make your own skirt or I've taken um, one of our circle skirts and just cut the band off it. That way um, I know what length it is. So first thing you want to determine is where you want that to land, how long you want that skirt to be. And then that way you can figure things out. So in this particular case, I took a halter leotard and I put a long circle skirt. I'm going to show you with a short circle skirt and um, different colors so that you can really see how it works. So I don't need that band anymore from the circle skirt. And in this, I've marked a chalk line where I want the skirt to fit in. Now I've matched up the front and back and pinned it into place so I get even from right to left and I don't have to worry about um, what if one side's off a little. So now that I have that pinned into place, I'm going to cut right along that chalk line. Now the reason I picked the halter leotard is because it gives me a little bit of leeway. If you make that slice in there and then once you put it back together, you're making that leotard just a little bit shorter. So make sure whatever you're putting it in that it doesn't just fit perfectly. There's a little bit of room in the girth for, for the girl. And then we're just going to keep cutting like that. Okay, let's unpin it. And now we have the front and back. So now I'm going to take this halter. Uh, the best way to do this, if you don't do this a lot so you don't mess it up, is I always lay the halter out, then I lay the skirt so it is exactly the way I want it to look when I'm done. It makes it easy so you don't accidentally sew the front to the back. So this is the right facing, this is the right facing, and I'm going to go ahead and flip that up now so that they're face. The, the front and back are facing each other. If you're ever questioning it, hold it together for a second, flip it down and make sure it's the correct side of the fabric. Now all I'm gonna do is take this, I'm going to stretch this out, make sure that I have it marked halfway. I'm going to pin this into place, pin the back into place, and then take it sideways, making sure those pins line up, stretching it out, making sure it's even, and place a pin on each side, nice and even. Now, if you're new at this, you might wanna place more pins. I feel comfortable with this. Now I'm gonna take this whole thing and turn it inside out dropping that skirt inside. The next step is I want to pin these briefs on. Now remember, this back side of the skirt, you want the red part of the leotard facing the front red part of the leotard. So the outside facing the outside. So when you flip it around, it'll be all correct. Big problem with these sometimes is you can accidentally make it backwards, so the front into the back. So you really pay attention to that you're sewing the front into the front. And when I do that, I like to start with the side seams together. Make sure everything matches up. Side seam here together. Now, because you're working with several layers of fabric, if you're new at this, pin a lot. Just pin a lot. Um, now we're going to fold this in half because you want to make sure it goes straight down the center and the body of it does not twist at all. So fold these two together. 
and put it right in that pin that you've already marked, making sure all the layers match up. Now in the back of this leotard there is a seam, so that makes it easy to pin that up. There we go. Okay, so let's set everything aside and let's start sewing. Let's turn on the machine. Now as you're sewing, just glide it around. Keep an eye out, sew slow. Don't worry about that. So I'm gonna take the first pin out and I'm gonna make sure everything matches up just perfectly. I'm gonna set that down. And I'm gonna put it on a um, zigzag st uh, stretch stitch, nice and wide. If you do a straight stitch, put woolly thread in the bobbin, not in the top. Because if you put the woolly thread in the top, when it, the arm goes up and down, it'll end up stretching it out, breaking. You'll have a lot of problems with the tension because the woolly thread's thicker. But if it's in the bobbin, it makes it no problem. You can, it just slightly spins out as it goes and it keeps it a little stronger for leotards. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, pull this taunt. Remember, you never want to pull it really hard because it'll mess, mess up how it feeds through. So I'm going to go ahead and hold all those layers together. And on the stretch stitch, we're just going to go all the way around. Now I'm going to take out that pin, make sure it's all lined up. You don't want the red fabric. Um, the, one of the actual outside pieces to not get caught. It makes it kind of a nightmare trying to fix that. If you ever do get it um, where it slips through, take a seam ripper and open up that space um, and get it all lined back up. And like I said, you wanna go as close to the edge as possible because otherwise you're gonna shorten the girth. Now I'm just gonna take it off and show you so then when you fold it through, you'll wanna make sure it lines up just like that. When you pull up the top part and the front of the brief lines up with the front and the side seams all line up. It's really that easy just to add a skirt right in, gives it a beautiful flow. You don't see stomachs, you don't see skirts or dresses rising up on the girl and it looks beautiful out on the dance floor or ice skating, whatever you choose. So have fun, enjoy, send me pictures. I wanna see what you've done. Thank you for watching our video. And if you enjoyed it, make sure and click here to subscribe because we're gonna have some amazing DIY videos coming out. And if you wanna get our free, complete dance costume DIY guide, click right here or go to bedancewearer.com slash DIY guide. And lastly, if you have any questions or ideas for future videos, please leave it in the comments below. Thanks again for watching our video and remember be original, be colorful, be dancewear.com.